Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Ian Webb. I'm a director of photography and video editor living in Northern California. And in this video, I wanted to share with you my favorite build for the DJI RS3 Pro. So I know there's a thousand different ways to build the DJI RS3 Pro and that's what makes it great. But for my style of shooting um, and the projects I work on, which are mostly documentaries and lifestyle shoots, this has been my favorite build. So there's five things I wanted to accomplish with this build, and I'm just gonna go over them real quick, and then we'll take this apart, and I'll go into more detail about each part. I really wanted to get my hands away from the center of the gimbal. So these two side handles allow me to do that. The second thing I wanted to accomplish is ability to pull focus, and I wanted to pull focus from one of those two handles. So this handle here from DJI allows me to do that. The third thing is I needed a handle to go into low mode, uh, something that I could adjust if needed. This handle here from Tilta allows you to do that. Um, and it, it's great, I really like it. Uh, the fourth thing is a monitor. I needed a monitor that could tilt. So this monitor holder here does that. And then the fifth thing is I wanted to transmit my signal to a client. So I've got the Raven Eye here from DJI on the back of the monitor. And I'll talk about why I put that there uh, in a second. So yeah, so those are the five things I wanted to accomplish. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna break this thing down and then we'll talk about each part and uh, talk about why I like each one. Okay, so I've taken off everything that did not come uh, with the RS3 Pro combo and put it out on the table here for us. The only items that are here that did come with that combo is the DJI focus motor and this 12 millimeter uh, rail, but you'll see why I had to take I had to take that off because the part I'm using to install it did not come with the kit. So the base of this whole build, or most of it at least, is this um, from Tilta. This is the Tilta battery handle base accessory mounting bracket. And so kind of a mouthful. But what I like about this is it gives you NATO rails um, and it mounts to the bottom of the gimbal and it gives you NATO rail options. For accessories. The thing I don't like about this, the bottom of this battery that DJI gives you is they only give you a quarter 20 now. And so they used to give you a 5 8 on the Ronin S, but um, this adapter here kind of fixes that problem. Um, and so let's put that on real quick. So it sits on the bottom here and I'm, I apologize if it's not all in focus. And then, there we go. And then we just screw that to the bottom. Cool, and then I just mount the tripod to the bottom there. Okay, sorry, that's so in your face. Okay, and now that's, that's set up. So we'll mount some accessories to that in a second, but um, the first accessory that we're gonna go with is this one here. This is all these three parts. This is the DJI tethered control handle. And that allows you to do everything, um, pretty much everything, focus and joystick and choosing between different modes. Um, that allows you to do everything that you normally would do from the center of the gimbal off to the side. So you have to first, I'm gonna spin this around here. So you just tighten that on that NATO reel there. And then the second part is, this is um, one of the arms from the Tilta NATO rail extension arm kit. So originally I had just both of these sticking out and I had both handles from that kit um, there, but I didn't like it because I was always jumping back to the middle of the gimbal here to mess with anything. So that's what's so great about this handle here is that it gives you the ability to kind of keep your hands just in one spot the whole time. So that sits there. Yeah, that just kind of clicks on there screws on and then the tethered control handle let's see okay there you go so that slides around there and you can put that kind of anywhere you want whatever makes you most comfortable for holding uh, and then the tether which is all right I'm just gonna wrap it around there uh, the next thing we need to do is install the Tilta NATO rail extender arm for rear operating handle. This is the Tilta rear operating handle. 
just screws right in the bottom there. Next, we're gonna put on the small rig adjustable EVF mount. It mounts right to the side because the cool part about this tilta arm here is it gives you another NATO rail to mount another accessory. So this just mounts right there. And so the next thing we have here is the Ninja V monitor. The NATO rail system I have on here is the Nitsi Ninja V NATO rail mounting plates. One thing I've done here is I've taken the Raven Eye and I've put it on the back of the monitor. They do give you the ability to mount it um, on the bottom of the Ronin, but um, which is great if you're just going straight to camera. But the problem is that's just another cable that's going from here all the way over to here. I'd rather just have everything nice and neat and plugged in together there. So I've mounted it, doing it, you know, the fancy way uh, with 3M dual lock tape. So it's actually really strong. So um, you can see it's just, just kind of clicks on and stays on. And I've wrapped this cable kind of around it. So that cable doesn't come off. Now that just mounts, let's see right there. Okay, great. Now you have your transmitter and your monitor all in one spot. And then you're just gonna run your HDMI cable from here. All right, so moving on to the bottom handle. The first thing we're gonna start with is the Tilta left side NATO rail. And so that goes right on the left side of the bottom of the Tilta battery handle base accessory. So being able to kind of hold the gimbal from the bottom and from the side, it just gives you a lot more control and, and it just feels less floppy. Uh, and it also frees up all this spot here to, to um, put these accessories on. The next thing is the Tilta Rosette extender arm and that shoots up right there. And then the last uh, part of the handle system here is this small rig. Uh, left hand wooden handle with a rosette right there. Okay, uh, so that goes on right there onto that rosette. Okay, so now we're almost through here. So now I have a Tilta 15 millimeter um, rail mount here and I put that, let's see, actually I'll slide this over and I'll put that at the top of my tilt a camera cage that just screws in there and doesn't move. Um, but I do have to put, before we do that, I have to put this spacer. This is a 15 mil to 12 millimeter spacer um, because DJI decided to make their follow focus 12 millimeter. So um, that slides in to that 15 mil adapter. And then I put my 12 mil there and then tighten it down and then it just locks into place. Slide that into there. Uh, and then this plugs in right there, right in the middle one, if I can see it, yep. And so that's it. Um, <laughs> that's it, right? That's a lot of stuff, but uh, that's why I wanted to make this video because it's taken me a long time to kind of get to get to this build. Hopefully this helped you. Um, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.